We're at a kitchen remodel in West Des Moines with Dave Helen of Helen Construction. And Dave, we're going to be looking at this remodel during various stages of construction. But let's talk about what are some of the problems in this kitchen. Well, this kitchen is very dated. Um, first of all, it's got the soffits above the cabinets, which was common to the era. And then a lot of times in the 70s, they cut off the dining area from the kitchen with these upper cabinets, which was a bad idea then, and it's a really bad idea now. So the owners want to open it up, modernize it, and make everything work better. So what's the next step for this kitchen? Well, the design is done, selections are made, and every construction project starts with demolition. So we're going to get these cabinets out of here and move into tearing out drywall. Dave, the space looks a lot different now that you've torn everything out of it. That's right. The demolition phase of a project is always really rewarding because so much happens so fast. A lot of times in this phase, we find lots of problems, structural issues, electrical problems. This house is actually put together pretty well, and we haven't found many major problems. The only problems we've found with this home is really just an annoyance, and they're really squeaky floors, and I want to show you how we can fix them. The reason why floors squeak is because the plywood subfloor is not firmly fastened to the joists underneath, and that causes a deflection that squeaks along the fasteners. So what we're going to do is come in and set these fasteners deeper, pull out a few of them, and add screws to fix the problem. You can come through and just hit that if you want to. Okay. A little bit bigger swing and don't miss. Okay. Okay. So by setting the nails and pulling out the loose ones, that actually fixes the squeak. But to keep it from coming loose again, we add screws. And now that you've placed the screws, the homeowners won't have a problem with the floor squeaking anymore. That's right, and we're going to do the same thing in all the areas so they don't have a brand new kitchen that has squeaky floors. It's been about a week and a half since we were here last, and you can tell that there's been a lot of changes. That's right. This stage of the project is not particularly beautiful, but it's very important. This is when all of the details for your finish work need to be reflected in what we do now, like location of lighting, switches, outlets, heating and cooling, and everything else. over the last few weeks. The cabinets are in, the tile floor is in, the deck has been completely ripped off, and the wood floor is in. That's right. What we've got here is a solid red birch, three-quarter inch thick wood floor. Solid wood is kind of an old school way to do wood floors. You see a lot of pre-finished floors these days, but I prefer installing the wood right after drywall, doing our trim, doing our cabinets, and then we sand and finish it at the very end of the project, and that gives you the best finish. This kitchen used to be 1970s style, dark, and really didn't function very well at all. We've now opened it up, we've got a commercial grade stove, lots of neat features, and it's beautiful. We added about four feet to the end of the laundry room and the half bath, so now we've got a larger mud room, laundry room, half bath, and plenty of room to come in from the garage. remodel a space, it's our opportunity to not only update the finishes, but everything underneath. We can update the electrical, the plumbing, we add lighting, we scrape off old drywall texture and make it current. On this particular project, we took a dated brick fireplace and painted it to give it a contemporary feel. For so long, the homeowners lived with a kitchen that they didn't love, and now it's a space that they can really enjoy. They didn't love the kitchen, but they liked the house, loved the neighborhood, and now they've got a space that's designed just for them, and it's one of a kind. So if viewers want to find out more about Helen Construction, how can they do that? They can go to my website at helenconstruction.com, and I've got video and photos and lots of information. Well, thanks so much, Dave Helen of Helen Construction. Thank you.